Bond. James Bond. He was the first, and for many, the definitive James Bond. Sean Connery launched the series in 1962 and set the bar by which the world came to know Her Majesty's most popular secret agent. Who is that? His own relationship with the character was ambivalent. He gave up the role more than once. But in all, Connery played Bond in six official films and an unofficial seventh, Never Say Never, in 1983. The success gave him international recognition, and Sean Connery did not hesitate to engage in projects that were diverse, unexpected, but always demanding. Alfred Hitchcock directed him in the psychological thriller Marnie. Why? Because, damn it, I want... And a few years later, he joined the American filmmaker John Huston on an adaptation of Rudyard Kipling's The Man Who Would Be King. ...instead of going home rich like you deserve to, on account of me being so bleeding high and bloody mighty. It would be one of his favourite films. Can you forgive me? You go that the 1980s saw Connery star in major hits like The Name of the Rose, in which he played a character who mentored a young student. Asta, how do we get out? With some difficulty. And it's his. That kind of role recurred in many subsequent films, like the global hit Highlander, where he donned the clothes of an immortal Spanish nobleman who trains a young Scottish warrior to complete his work. Sean Connery is Jimmy Malone. With Brian De Palma's The Untouchables, he won the only Oscar of his career, that of Best Supporting Actor, establishing himself as a major player in the industry. Everybody knows where the booze is. He was Indiana Jones's father in the third episode of the series The Last Crusade, forming a credible duo with Harrison Ford, even though they're only aged 12 years apart. Happens to me all the time. The most brilliant commander in the Soviet Red October in 1990 was a major role where he played a Russian submarine commander submarine the American Navy. with a strong Scottish accent. Mystery. A man with your Born in an Edinburgh suburb, Connery was a proud Scot and reportedly had the words Scotland Forever tattooed on his body. He was knighted for his services to acting in 2000, and although he spent few days there in his later years, he was a strong supporter of Scottish independence and always careful to wear his kilt.